Assalamu alaikum and hi guys. So for today, we are going to continue with chapter number 2 entitled Alkin and Cycloalkin. Okay. So for the lesson outline, there are five side topics we are going to cover. So the first one, as usual, we have introductions. Next is the structure and nomenclature. So this is the first topic that you will learn on the IUPAC name and also the common name and then we have uh, a subtopic on how to draw the structure the next one is the methods of preparations consists of three subtopics which is hydrogenations of alkene reductions of alkyl halide and hydrolysis of greenery reagents. so methods of preparations means that is how you want to prepare the alkene compound from an alkene from alkyl halide and also by using the green reagents all right and the next part is the reactions of alkene which is means that reactions of alkene to produce another types of compounds so it will start with alkene plus with something else and then you will get a new compound okay so the next one is complete combustions and then the last one for the reaction is ring opening reactions the next subtopic is the Bayer strain theory for the cycloalkane and last but not least is the uses of alkene okay as for the introductions alkene okay for example pentane okay is unsaturated hydrocarbons Saturated hydrocarbons means that you don't have any double bond or triple bond. Okay, everything must in single bond. So this is uh, what means by the saturated hydrocarbons. Okay, so it contains only CH and CC bonding. So other uh, CH dengan C, C bonding sahaja. For example, macam ni lah. Okay, this one is ethane. Dual carbon, ethane. And then the general formula is CnH2n plus 2. So, kalau you masukkan, kita ada dual carbon. So, Cn, H, sorry, uh, N you substitute dengan 2. So, 2 plus 2. So, molecular formula adalah C2H6. So, you boleh kira, 1 carbon, 2 carbon. Okay, and then you punya hydrogen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, kalau dia fulfill awak punya general formula, so meaning that this is the uh, group alkene. Okay, so general formula dia adalah ini. So, the sources of alkene normally datang daripada crude oil dan juga natural gases. Okay. So, next for the nomenclature, we are using IUPAC name which is International Union of pure and applied chemistry so meaning that this is the standard name right. basically the IUPAC name consists of three parts which is the prefix parents and suffix so for example like this okay you have two methyl butin okay so prefix is the name okay and locations of your substituents Okay, the number is the location. Okay, methyl is the name of your substituents. Okay, so put is the longest carbon chain. Okay, rantai carbon yang paling panjang. A and E ni stand for functional group. So, since you punya functional group adalah group alkene, so, belakang dia adalah A and E. Kalau you referring to group alkene, which is E and E, so, nama belakang dia akan jadi butin. Okay, dia akan berubah jadi E and E. So, this is you punya structure untuk naming. Any substituents ataupun you panggil sebagai branch, okay, substituents or branch location ni berada di depan okay 
So for this one adalah you punya longest carbon number. So longest carbon number we refer kat sini. So dia tak akan berubah even dia adalah akil halide ke ataupun dia adalah alkain ke ataupun adalah alkin ke the longest carbon number tidak akan berubah. So satu carbon is met, dua carbon is at, tiga carbon prop, but, pen, hect, hept, oc, non, ten, dec. So this one is for the longest carbon number. Okay, longest. So yang color merah ni, it is a family group. Okay, the name of your family group. Okay, name and locations. So, untuk alkane, okay, alkane, since kita tak ada double bond, kita tak ada triple bond, so dia tak ada locations of functional group. Because of, semuanya adalah single bond, so dia tak ada numbering pada parent chain dia. Okay, so remember class, every IUPAC name, it consists of three structure. The first one is your prefix, which is you put your name and locations of your substituents. Okay, for example, this one, 2 methyl butane. So, say draw dulu supaya you lebih jelas. So, this is butane. But is 4 carbon. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright. So, prefix mean name and locations of substituents. So, meaning that at the second carbon, you have a branch called methane. So, this is your second carbon. Methyl adalah methane. Tapi, dia R group yang saya terangkan. R group bermaksud adalah alkane tolak satu hydrogen. So, kalau alkane adalah methane, sorry, methane adalah CH4. So, methyl adalah CH3. So, mean that at carbon number 2, you have one methyl group. So, this is the structure. Alright. So, branch adalah carbon yang selain daripada you punya parent chain. Okay. Parent chain adalah longest continuous carbon. Okay. So, it doesn't matter. Nanti saya akan, saya akan explain more on naming. Alright. So, the next one adalah you punya longest continuous carbon chain. And the last part adalah you punya functional group name. Okay, that one is the structure. Okay. So, next method. Okay, this is the process on how you want to name a compound. For example, I give you one Example, okay. So the methods, the first one you can charit the loop parent chain, which is the longest carbon chain. It doesn't matter cyclic ataupun acyclic. Okay, acyclic yang macam ni straight chain, dia open end. So ah uh, maksudnya you will nampak this other this one ada ada punya hujung atau hujung kat sini. Kalau a cyc sorry cyclic dia adalah close end. Contoh macam ni, you tak nampak penghujung dia. Dia ada hujung. The second one adalah untuk numbering. The third one, you can locate and name your branch. And the last one, you can arrange according to alphabetical order. This is the basic rules yang you can ingat dan you can faham. And this one will carry forward ke chapter-chapter yang lain. Alright? Okay. So, for example, the first one. Okay. So, you can find the longest continuous carbon. It doesn't mean or it it is not necessarily to be straight. Alright. So for example the first one. You punya longest. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Ataupun you boleh cari. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Boleh pergi ke bawah. Tapi since atas ni adalah 5. Bawah ni adalah 4. So your longest carbon chain adalah yang 5 carbon. So, this one is your parent chain. Okay. So, I give you another examples. Okay. So, you either compound macam ni. Okay. So, nak cari longest continuous carbon chain, you boleh kira 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
Okay, dia mesti continuous. You tak boleh 5 dekat sini and then you lompat 6, 7, 8. Tak boleh sebab dia tak continuous. Dia tidak berterusan. So, this one salah. Okay, tak boleh macam tu. Dah habis hujung sini. Kalau tak ada, so end dekat sini. Alright, so this is your end. Okay, ingat eh, dia mesti longest continuous carbon okay, chain. So, mungkin... Mungkin you akan jumpa, you boleh try another numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Or you nak try lagi, you boleh buat 1, sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So obviously you ada 6, you ada 5 dan juga you ada 7. So the longest one is 7. Alright, so your longest continuous carbon adalah 7. Okay, so ini baru first step eh. First step which is longest continuous carbon. Belum masuk lagi untuk um, numbering. Okay. Okay, so I give you another examples untuk longest. Okay. Okay, so ingat pasal saya, dia tidak semestinya straight as long as the longest berterusan. Okay, so for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, and then saya tukar colour kejap. Okay, and then for example, you try lagi 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, kalau you nak strike daripada sini pun boleh. Okay, tak ada masalah. Still juga dia jumpa carbon number 2 dekat sini. Alright, so untuk this kind of structure, you ada two possible. You ada 7, you ada 7. So which one nak pilih? Okay, so you kena pilih uh, structure ataupun longest continuous carbon with more branch. Okay, so apa itu branch? Okay, branch adalah structure yang tidak termasuk dalam parent chain awak. Okay, so kalau contoh macam yang atas ni, yang straight ni adalah you punya parent chain. So yang terkeluar ni, this is your branch. Okay, so for example yang atas ni, okay, so saya uh, circle kan you punya parent chain. So this is you punya parent chain. So, whatever yang terkeluar ni, this is, yang warna hijau ni, this is your branch. Okay. For the last one, okay, kita nak pilih the purple colour or the blue colour. Okay, so kita kena tengok yang lebih banyak branch. So, kalau you pilih yang warna hijau ni, okay, so yang terkeluar, sorry, yang warna biru ni. So, yang terkeluar, this one, dan juga yang bawah ni. Okay, so you have two branch. Okay, so saya padam dulu. Okay, so if you choose the purple color as your parents, so you have one, two, three, four branch. So meaning that the purple color will have greater number of branch than the pet. So, definitely, you have to choose, okay, the longest continuous carbon chain with more branch. So, meaning that you punya branch adalah pada, sorry, you punya longest carbon chain adalah yang warna purple. So, this is your parent chain. Okay. And whatever left. Okay. So, this one. Adalah you punya branch. Satu, dua, tiga, empat. So, the first step is you have to find the longest continuous chain. The second step, kalau you ada dua longest continuous chain, you kena pilih yang lebih banyak branch. The next step, uh, I will continue in the second video. Alright, thank you guys.